Hey YouTubers, Holiday Cheer One here. So before I start the video, I do want to say uh, one thing. Um, I probably look like a wet dog at the moment, meaning my hair is kind of flat and has no volume to it. That's because I just got out of the shower and realized, oh hey, I need to film a new video. And um, the video that I'm going to be talking about is one simple trick to getting your hair nice and volumized, or it could be called one simple trick or something to do with um, whatever titles up there. I don't really think of these um, that quickly. And what's this little side doing? Okay, so what this video is about is I'm going to be showing you guys um, a simple trick. This is for girls only, obviously. I'm sorry, guys, if you're watching this video. But um, this video is, like, for people that struggle with very greasy hair. And it just you just have trouble with greasy hair and stuff like that. And this is a trick that I learned pretty much from watching everybody out there on YouTube. And I know, I really hope you guys don't think this is copying. I just wanted to share it with you guys this awesome idea. And maybe many of you girls have already heard of this idea before. It's very, very simple. Um, so I'm sorry if you've heard it before and you're like, wow, this video is so boring. Um, and you're so, like, a beginner and you don't even know, like, um, you know, that I, I don't know, hop on the bandwagon really, like, slowly with this idea. Because, honestly, I learned it just, like, a couple weeks ago. Anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the video. First thing I want to show you guys is what shampoo and conditioner I use. So I'm going to go ahead and get that right here. So I use two different types of shampoo conditioner. I always stick with the Tresemme because I feel like it works much better. Never ever get the dollar shampoo. It does not work with anything in your hair. And I sometimes it can be like really cheap to use. No. With shampoo and conditioner, you really, really need a good um, under $5. These are under $5. These are like $4 because honestly, I can't afford like $4.50 and over for shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that. And um, so these are perfect. You can get these at Walmart or anywhere, pretty much. Walmart's cheaper. They're skinnier bottles, but they're so much more. Um, actually, I've had this for like pretty, like almost a m I think I've had it for like a month, maybe. And because me and my mom had to share com shampoo and conditioner just for like uh, money wise. But um, it's gone through two of us, and I'm almost out. So it definitely works. I'll get closer and show you guys what it's like. This kind, they're both different by the way and I will next time that I go to the store which will be like this Friday I'm gonna get this kind um and the shampoo I'm gonna share this is a shampoo it is the Tresemme used by professionals and it's the new advanced technology uh salon performance gently cleanses and conditions it cleanses and replenishes and it's two in one for all the hair types I never get the color because they've got different like color things on here They've got different ones. They've got ones for curly hair, one for wavy hair, one for colored hair when you like dye your hair a bunch of colors. But I usually stick with um, this one, but this is the first time that I've like used this. It works awesome and it just looks like that. That's the shampoo. Now this is the conditioner and let me just say it is like the bomb diggity dig. And <laughs> it is the Tresemme Advanced Technology or no, used by professionals, I'm sorry, it's the split remedy, oh my gosh, it reduces up to 80% of split ends after three uses, and it's in a, um, you guys can't tell by the color, but it's green, the color is the green kind, and it is uh, reconstructing complex repairs and smooth split end conditioner, let me just say you guys, it works wonders on my hairs, it is just so awesome. I love this shampoo and I love this conditioner. But I think I will be getting this kind. I think it, they do have it in shampoo. So yeah, this is the shampoo um, I, and conditioner that I use on my hair. Looks like that. Smells awesome. Oh my gosh, this trust me always smells awesome. So now let's go ahead and jump into the trick. And of course the trick is really, really simple. It You do it in the shower. And what you do is... For the shampoo, it's okay to use this all over your hair, the top of your hair, the bottom of your hair, the middle of your hair. You can use shampoo everywhere. Um, but then when you get to the conditioner, as you notice, the shampoo and the conditioner is such a different consistency. Um, and it has a different like um, texture to it. The conditioner is more thick and the shampoo is more thin and kind of like a gel-like. And that's why you should always, always, always use the conditioner um from like um just on like this part of your hair like this part and i'll show you guys how to like use it and stuff but um 
yeah, they have two different types of consistencies. And for the conditioner is the main um, step. And uh, this is what the step is going to be about or the trick it's going to be about. So when you're in the shower, all you're going to do is when you take the conditioner, it doesn't matter how much, not too, too much and not like too little, you're only going to apply. Okay. So you have your hair, right? Oh, I hope you guys can see that. So you have your ear, my ear, the top of my ear is right here. You find the top of your ear and you kind of bring your hands in together like this and then you go down. So from there down is where you're going to put the conditioner. Now from here up, no conditioner. And at first, um, so I'll show you guys from the front. So from like the tippy top of your ear and down. And um, when you're using that split in treatment, it's very good to get it on the, um, like, here because it reduces the split ends. Um, I do want to say at first I was very skeptical on doing this, like, little trick because I'm like, oh, my gosh. It is going to take forever, and there's no way, Jose, that I'm going to be able, able to brush out my hair when I use um, conditioner, when I don't use conditioner on the top. Sorry about that. Because let me tell you guys, I cannot brush my hair out with the comb. Okay, and I know brushes are, um, they break your hair and stuff like that, but I, there's just no way you're going to get a comb through my head of hair because it is very thick, it gets tangly easily, and so I was very, very skeptical on using the conditioner just from here back and on this. Let me just say, the first time I tried it, because it took me like a few times to actually decide, okay, you're going to go ahead and try this out. But uh, the first time I tried it, I got out of the shower and I brushed my hair. I honestly could just brush it right back. I mean, I still had a few, like, tangles and stuff like that. But I was pretty much able to um, brush it, like, all out. It was perfect. I was so happy. And that's all that I do now with my hair. I never, or not all that I do with my hair, but I never, ever, ever touch the top of my hair with conditioner. And um, I was talking about the brushing and stuff like that. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot. I'm talking too fast. I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast. I'll talk a little bit slower. I hate when I'm like in my videos and I feel the need to like yell at you guys. And I'm like, listen up you guys. I don't know. I'm like so yelly when I get into my videos. But I just kind of need to hush it down a little bit. Um, so anyways, yeah. It just brushes out very much easier. And before when I had conditioner all over my hair, it brushed out much harder. And it took a while for it to brush out. Now when I use conditioner from here down, it brushes out so much easier. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like the best like idea ever. And now why don't we put um, conditioner on the top of our hair? I realized it, or not realized it, I'm sure you guys else did. But it, it makes it so much more greasier. And that's because of the texture that the conditioner has. It's much thicker. And then when you use it everywhere on your hair, it will become much more greasier and just kind of be like that and stick straight to your hair and I want to show you guys like before when I used to get out of the shower and brush my hair back it just kind of stuck to my head and just fell down like this and there was really no volume and I know it's hard to get, for me like to get volume and stuff when my hair is like wet but still like um it just still would be always flat now when I use the conditioner from um here all the way down my hair is so much more volumized when I try and brush it out whoops or when I brush everything out let me just fix that so see how much like I'm not gonna mess it up or this side out because I've got like something in it but see how much more I don't even know if you can tell it probably doesn't make a difference but for me it definitely does um it just is much more like not stick to the straight stick to my head and it's much more volumized and um, definitely when I blow dry my hair out, it makes a whole heck of a lot of difference. And like the next day, day two hair, I never, um, I shower every day. And how much time am I? I'm at nine minutes. Okay, so I do shower every day or wash my hair every day. That's because the way that my hair is, it's naturally greasy. Even if I don't use the, um, conditioner on the top of my hair, it's just always greasy. I haven't really been able to find a fix for day two hair. Like, I'll try to do day two hair, but honestly, just, like, the um, roots and stuff like that just are still greasy. And that's why I do shower every day, which I know is very bad for your hair. And, like, I feel like one trick is going to help my hair, and then the rest is just going to mess it up. So it's like taking two steps forward and five steps back. But, um... I would definitely say I've seen much more of an improvement on my day two hair. It's not so much greasy anymore. It's just that it's 
dry, uh, uh, it's dry and it doesn't have much volume. It's a little bit flat and stuff like that, but the greasiness has con gone away a little bit more. So, you guys, I'm going to end this video, but for you girls out there, I'm sorry again if this is a really, like, um, dumb video because pretty much everybody, I'm sure, knows of it. But I just wanted to tell you guys because it's an awesome trick. It's definitely, definitely, definitely 100% worked on my hair. I feel like one of those commercial sponsors where they're like, and this is the conditioner we have right here. It's a trust in May. And it works wonders on my hair. I've tried it out so many times and it just works awesome. I feel like one of those like hair commercials or whatever. Um, but I promise you I'm not sponsored. I paid for this. Um, these are like pay for this with my own money is what I'm trying to say and so yeah so so yeah so all right so to end this um all you're going to do is you're, when you take your conditioner with the shampoo you can use it all over your hair but then with the conditioner you only take from the ears you measure on the top of your um sorry that was really weird you measure on the top of your ear put your hands like this well you don't even have to and then just kind of um use all the conditioner back there really moisturize it into the um ends of your hair and stuff like that and you will be good to go you will have volumized hair when you get out of the shower brush it out easily don't feel skeptical if you're going to try this out for the first time because i promise you guys it works wonders um so i'm gonna go and yeah these are the shampoo and conditioner that i use they're 100 percent awesome works well and i'll talk to you guys later so i really hope you guys enjoyed this did I already say that? I think I did. Um, I kind of wanted to mix my videos up a little bit. I felt like I was doing too many, like, everyday vlogs and stuff like that. Um, and, yeah, now I'm going to ramble on about something else, which I don't want to. Also, make sure you keep checking out my second channel. Um, it's all about braces 101. The um, name is always in the bottom. And it's pretty much all about braces. I've got videos up on there, and I'm going to go before I ramble your heads off. And I'll talk to you guys later. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Alright, bye guys.